Hey, what's going on guys? This is MBDC back with another video for you guys here today. And today I'm talking about some set photos from the Flash season six. So if you guys did not catch my last video, my last vlog video I did talking about the Flash season seven caused a little bit of controversy because the title and everything about the Flash being canceled. If you did not catch that video, probably put a card up here, link down below, something like that. Check out that video. It's a really good video. It's worth the watch. And if you haven't already, get subscribed, hit like, more DC reviews to come soon. But let's just jump right into the set photos. So the set photos are not like leaked photos. I think uh, Danielle Panabaker, who plays Caitlyn Killer Frost, posted one on her Twitter. So it's not like they're like crazy leaked photos or something like that. It just, it's basically set photos that come out every year of the Flash being filmed, set photos of villains and stuff like that. But I want to talk about why these set photos were significant and what they mean for the Flash season six. And more importantly, what they mean for Godspeed as a character. So we see like here, I'll probably post it up. It'll be on the screen somewhere. You see the Flash fighting Godspeed, taking him down. Looks like he has him handcuffed and then unmasking him. Now, A, what we learn from these set photos is, is that the Flash takes down Godspeed really early on in the season. So he confronts Godspeed because remember, he didn't get to meet Godspeed in the future. That was Nora in last season. So A, he meets Godspeed, he confronts Godspeed. That means Godspeed is obviously still a villain. B, how much time did they take building his backstory? Because again, it's his early on in the season. And C, he looks like a whole different character. Now, I don't know if that's a stunt double they run masking and they're gonna change it later, I don't know. But he looked like a whole different guy under that mask. Now, this tells me that somehow with the timeline changing that Godspeed is a different character. He still may be named August Hart, but he may be a different August Hart. Or he may be a different guy altogether. I don't know. We have to wait and see, obviously. But this is why, to me, this is why it's, it's significant for the Godspeed character because I thought after the crisis event happening that the multiverse and everything changing so much was going to bring characters back like Godspeed. But that doesn't seem to be the case. It seems that something else or Nora in the timeline, how Nora like disappeared, vanished last, last season because of the timeline. She got erased from time, basically. That changed the timeline enough to bring Godspeed in current time and have to confront the Flash or the Flash will have to confront him because of the timeline changes. So we're going to get a couple of new villains, I believe so, because of this timeline shift, because of what Nora did last season with the timeline and the reverse Flash and that whole debacle. So, and the dagger, that whole thing with the dagger, Cicada and all that stuff. So I think it's he's going to, to me, he's getting the rival vibe. Like, I don't know about you, just looking at these set photos, it's getting kind of the rival kind of vibe where he was in and out as a villain. Like some of you probably like, who? I probably put a picture up of him somewhere, but yeah, couple, when I said the rival, a couple of, you, couple of you guys were like, probably like, who to yourself? Yeah, that's how in and out the rival was. Now, Godspeed's a bigger character, so obviously people are going to remember him, and he was he was in last season, but I think they're going to kind of do that with Godspeed this season. Now, he may, he may get more of a story later on. They may like Flash may confront him, capture him. They take him back to Star Labs and they turn him good or whatever, he escapes. There could be more story to be told later on in the season with Godspeed, he could escape and all that stuff, but it kind of seems like he's gonna be an in and out villain from what the set photos look like now. Of course, this could be totally different. It could not be anything that I'm thinking, but these are just my early preliminary thoughts is that A, God's, like I said, A, he confronts Godspeed early on. B, the crisis, if it has nothing to do with Godspeed, coming back and C, Godspeed's a whole different character than August Hart we got last season. So that's the set photos. There was other set photos of Caitlyn in her uh, comic booky, like I think it was like her rebirth comic book costume Killer Frost costume, she posted that herself. You see like Jesse L. Martin out there with new like sideburns, beards out, like a new beard out there. So got a couple of leaked set photos. Looks like the Flash still does not have a chin strap. I noticed that was like one of the first things I noticed from looking at the set photos. I don't know if they can add one in later or he's just not getting the chin strap back. I know there's a lot of people that are fans of the chin strap. I do like the chin strap myself on Grant Gustin. Just looks better on him and the way he looks in the, the Flash suit. But I have to wait and see. Maybe he'll get another suit like three, four, five episodes in. Or after Crisis, he may get a whole new suit with the chin strap coming back. But yeah, early set photos, just wanted to talk about them real quick. Let me know what you guys think of the set photos down below. Let me know if you guys are excited to have Godspeed back. Let me know your thoughts in general. Again, do not forget to be subscribed. The giveaway winner will be announced next week. Get subscribed, hit that like button, share this with all your DC Arrowverse loving fans, and I will definitely catch you guys in the next one. This is MBDC.
Peace.